Today, we're going to be starting a new short series called Things You Never Noticed in GTA Online. So you know when you shoot somebody in the head in GTA 5, you aim right at them, and then you pull the trigger, and then boom. They're pretty much dead instantaneously. But I bet you never noticed this. If you go up really close to a person and aim the barrel of the gun directly at that person's head and pull the trigger, the bullets will go straight through their head. And it doesn't matter what gun you're using, as long as it's not like an RPG or a grenade launcher, but you could also go side to side and you could literally see every single bullet going straight through that person's head and it's not killing them at all. There of course is a good reasoning behind this. In shooter games, there are two different types of bullets used. From my knowledge, that's going to be hitscan and projectile. Hitscan bullets are pretty much where you aim directly at your target, no matter the distance, you kill them instantly as long as you hit them perfectly. But projectile bullets are where you shoot at them and there is travel time involved in order to kill your target. Like in GTA Online, when you shoot an RPG, there is travel time for that RPG to reach your target. But with some other guns, you shoot and as long as you're aiming directly at your target, it will kill them instantly. If you tried to do this in first person, it would always work perfectly. If you haven't noticed, when you're in third person and you're shooting, your gun is in a completely different spot than when you're in first person and you're shooting. The perfect way to test this out is walk up to a wall, go in third person and shoot a bullet, then switch to first person and shoot a bullet, and continuously do this, and then super quickly start switching between third and first person, and you're going to notice that your camera continuously moves to the right every time. A lot of people probably already know this, but for the people that didn't, well, there you go. Go and test it out in-game. Anyways, back on topic to shooting people in the heads in GTA 5 and the bullets going straight through them. Obviously, the crosshair is in the middle of your screen, and your character is aiming at the crosshair, if you haven't already noticed, and that means the bullets will always line up. As I said at the start, there are hit scan and there are projectile bullets. Now, RPGs and stuff use those projectile bullets, but hit scan is what is happening here. You shoot your gun and you see the bullet come out from your gun but it's actually coming from where the camera is, but it's invisible, you can't see it. The game developers make it look like it's coming out of your gun to make the game look more realistic, because it would look very weird like in Minecraft when you shoot a bow, the arrow was coming straight from the middle of your chest, and if that was happening in GTA 5 and many other games, it would look very, very strange. So that is why when you aim the barrel at somebody's head, the bullets won't actually hit there, because the bullets coming out of your gun, they're not real, they're purely cosmetic. The real bullets are completely invisible coming from the middle of the screen and aimed directly where the crosshair is. Your character is just lining it up with that to make it look more appealing to you. The same thing goes with first person, of course. The bullet is coming from the middle of your screen, but it's invisible. But it looks like it's coming from your gun. But in reality, it's actually not. Anyways, I thought this was kind of interesting and I wanted to share it with you guys. I bet a lot of you guys probably had no idea this even happened to GTA 5 and a lot of you probably already knew that. Many other games use the exact same systems, actually most games use these exact same systems, but you don't really notice until you actually know. It's like looking at one of those pictures and you can't tell what it is until you see it. And once you see it, now you can't unsee it. Anyways, that's pretty much going to wrap the video up for today. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Anyways, thanks for watching, and with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.